All right, this is second grade, module seven, lesson 10. And in this lesson, we're gonna continue using coins. Uh, this time we're gonna be strategizing and trying to be efficient. We're gonna be trying to use the fewest number of coins to make a given value. Yes, if we're trying to make like 62 cents, we could use 62 pennies. That would not be very efficient. So the idea is what, what could be the more efficient way, the fewest number of coins to make 62 cents. And that's the goal of this lesson. So let's get started. So what we're being asked to do is to show 40 cents in two different ways. But the idea is we want the fewest uh, coins uh, over here in the right column. So I'm going to start, I'm going to recommend that we start with the fewest coins here. And the idea is, oh, by the way, uh, just a heads up, we're not using a 50 cent piece, we're not using a silver dollar, we're only going to be using the four classics, the penny, the nickel, the dime, and the quarter. And the idea is, okay, if we're going to make 40 cents, what I'm going to recommend is that you start from the biggest value and you work your way down. So let's start with, well, we can have a 25 cent piece. Can we use another quarter? No, because 25 plus 25 is 50 cents and that's too much. So we're done with the quarters. So I'm going to say, okay, we're officially done with the quarters. How about the dimes? Can we add a dime? Well, 25 plus 10 is 35. So yeah, we can add a dime. So now we have 35 cents. Can we add another dime? No, because that would give us 45 cents and that's too much. So we're done with the dimes. <clears throat> so we have 35. Can we add a nickel? Yeah, 35 plus a nickel gives us 40 cents, and now we're perfect. So we're done with the nickels, and we're done with the dimes, uh, pennies, because we can't do any pennies, because we are already at 40 cents, all right? And we have used the fewest number of coins possible. <clears throat> now, if we want to find a different way that does not use the fewest number of coins, all we have to do is cash in one of these coins for some smaller coins. For example, we could cash in that, di that dime for two nickels. So we would end up with a 25 cent. And then instead of that dime, we would have, instead of this dime, oops, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to do this. Okay, instead of this dime, we would have two nickels. And now we have that re last remaining nickel. And there we go. So that's another option that is not the fewest coins, but it still equals 40 cents. Here it equals 40 cents, but it also has the added bonus of using the fewest number of coins. Another practice, only this time we want to make 66 cents, and the idea is, well, let's start with the big, big stuff. 25 plus 25, well, that gives us 50. Can we add another quarter? No, because that would be 75 cents, and that's too much. So we've got 50 cents, so let's add another dime. So that gives us 60 cents. Can we add another dime? No, that would be 70 cents, and that's too much. So we've got 60 cents. Now what can we do? Can we add a nickel? Yeah, because if we add a nickel, that gives us 65 cents. So I've used all my nick quarters, all my dimes, all my nickels. Can I add another di uh, nickel? No, because right now we have 65. And if I added another nickel, that would make 70 cents, and that's too much. So I'm now at 60, 50, 65 cents. And so now we finally use a penny, and we have reached our 66 cents. So we are officially done. There is our 66 cents using the fewest number of coins. Parents and teachers, yes, 25 plus 25 equals 50 cents, and we could have used a 50 cent piece, but we're not going to be considering 50 cent pieces in this lesson. We're only going to be using the four basic coins. What's a different way to make 66 cents but doesn't use the fewest coins? Well, all we have to do is take any of these big coins and cash it in for something smaller. Oh, for example, this quarter we could cash in for 20, uh, two dimes and a nickel. So what we could do is start with that 25 cents. 
uh, that's this guy, but this 25 cents, we could cash him in for two dimes and a nickel. Two dimes and a nickel. So there, here is my 50 cents, here is my 50 cents. Now all we have to do is copy down 10 plus the 5 plus the 1. The dime, the nickel, and the penny. And so automatically we have another method that equals 66 cents, but does not use the fewest possible number of coins. So now, last uh, slide for this video, we're being asked to make a dollar in two different ways. And again, we're going to start with the fewest number of coins. Uh, of course, the fewest it could be like a silver dollar or even a dollar bill, but that's not a coin. And uh, we're being asked to uh, use just the four main coins, the most common coins, the penny, the nickel, the dime, and the quarter. So what's the fewest number of ways, uh, coins that we could use? Well, we could do four quarters. Four quarters equals a dollar. Boom. Done. Now, another common way to make a dollar is you could say, well, ten dimes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there's two quick ways that we can make a buck. Uh, using four quarters is the fewest coins possible. And then, of course, using those ten dimes also equals a buck, a dollar, but it does not use the fewest number of coins. And, of course, this is the classic opportunity to practice counting by tens. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, a hundred, woohoo, a hundred, a dollar. And that wraps up second grade module seven, lesson 10, using the fewest number of coins to make a, a particular value. So now we're talking about optimization.